Hi, I'm Asin, a Google Developer Student Club lead at Comstas University, and today I'll be sharing a story which is really close to my heart. I originally belonged to a very beautiful valley, Hunza Gilead, Baltistan. In my hometown and several smaller towns in Pakistan, fake or counterfeit notes are still seen in circulation. Several customers and shopkeepers have unknowingly become victims of this, including my mother, who was deeply shattered after knowing that a 5,000 rupee note she received from a shopkeeper was fake. I discussed this with friends and family, and discovered that it was an occurring issue. I researched a lot about the technology used by banks and financial institutions to differentiate the quality of notes, and also discussed the findings with my friends. We realized that sorting machines and microscopes were very expensive, and were not available to general public. Unfortunately, we couldn't make much progress at that time. I wondered if technology could play a role in improving the situation, and maybe an app or a web-based idea could be the solution to this problem. Few months later, through leading developer student clubs in my university, I came across Google Teachable Machine and TensorFlow from an industry expert, and was very impressed. I started playing around with both of these and built Pansazar, an app to scan and detect fake currency notes using machine learning. I also needed an affordable lens to improve the image focus and resolution. We went out in the market and found a way to repurpose a lens that gave 6% improved focus. And whose manufacturing was also easier, allowing us to test different currency notes for our trial. Let me show you. Attach the lens to your phone camera, open the application, and take a picture. The machine learning algorithm simplifies the process for you, and within three seconds, detect whether you are handed a real or a fake note. This can help you avoid counterfeit notes at the spot. I feel really proud because not only do people see value in the prototype I had built, but I also got to pitch it at multiple hackathons as a Google Developer Student Club lead. Through these opportunities, I got invited to work with leading startup incubation center, and now we are a dedicated team working to improve and scale this. With over 200 customers and shopkeepers testing our prototype, we got a lot of positive feedback, and we are working continuously to improve the product and reliability. I am still a student, but I feel amazing about this journey of learning new technology, building a solution for a problem, and now scaling it widely. I strongly believe, even as student programmers, we have the opportunity and privilege to improve the lives of people around us with the technology we build. My journey as a GDSE lead has come to an end, but I encourage every student to find and take part in such opportunities where you can learn, connect, and grow.